Now what? Uh, Seth Collins says happy birthday. <laughs> Who? She says thanks. You rock, Stanley! Nice summer. Seth Collins. He doesn't care about who you really are. In fact, he has no idea that every day of third grade you shared your lunch with that little skinny squirrel who kept getting his nuts stolen by that fat squirrel. I hated that mean squirrel. And none of those guys were there when you had to read your poem aloud in class and your hand was shaking because you were nervous and you cared what the other kids thought. Poem? What poem? I wish I was a bird. You remember that? That was like sixth grade. I wish I was a mermaid and was friends with all the fish, a shiny tail, and seashells out there. You make a move, I rip out your jugular. Oh, hey, hello, Todd. You know what else I think you enjoy? Me. Well, that's because you're mentally unstable. Be that as it may, I think the facts speak for themselves. Might I remind you of a little something that I like to call the time that you kissed me by the pool at my grandfather's birthday party. What are you talking about? Okay, I know that denial is a very uh, powerful coping mechanism, but I just think, Summer, that it's time we paid lip service to our lip service. Two words. No. Tongue. So you still think that, after everything that happened today, when we get back to school, you're gonna be able to ignore me? Well, all I can do is try. I admire your will. <laughs> that you're jealous. You like Seth Cohen. Ew, no! <laughs> you like him. You like Stop him. it! No. I do not like Seth Cohen. I mean, I can't like Seth Cohen. He's like Seth Cohen. Well, it's too bad, because he likes you. No, oh God. No. Uh, 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 what, what's, what's happening here? I like Seth Cohen. Uh, you Nothing. I wasn't talking to you. But if you tell anyone what you heard here, I'll kill you. Hey, what's going on? I just can't help it. Uh-huh. And I certainly can't explain it. You didn't tell anyone? Uh, no, of course not. Because I'll kill you. No, I believe you. I, I you. kissed you. I know. I kissed you. Also well, true. Good lord, I think I'm gonna pass out. I'm not going anywhere. What's this? Uh, uh, that's a, uh, uh, it's a handful. She made it? Yeah. I'm not into talking about, like, feelings or whatever. But I like you. So does she. If we don't put an end to this thing, someone's gonna get hurt. God, she's coming. Actually, I think we should be friends. I want you to have this. I don't want to be your friend. You're not so cool. So you're a couple? No. Yes. That, that is, we wanted to tell you first before we officially became a couple, which I guess we were. So you chose Anna? No. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Mm. So, Anna dumps you, and you think you can choose me, and I'd still be interested in you? First of all, what makes you think that Anna dumped me? Never mind. Second of all, kind of, yes. It's not like, like now that me and Anna broke up, I'm now choosing you, okay? Because the whole reason that we broke up is because for me, it's always been you, Summer. It's always been you. I've tried to fight it 
and I've tried to deny it, and I can't. I can't do it. You're undeniable. That was sex. Yep. You want another shot? That's what I'm saying. Why did you ignore me at school today? I didn't ignore you. <sighs> okay, maybe a little. I just... I want our relationship to be private, okay? I don't like other people knowing my business. Why not? Because it's none of their business? I can't acknowledge you privately if you're not going to acknowledge me publicly. Colin! So let me know when you're ready to come to the bargaining table, but until then... I just don't know why he likes me. I mean, he's way smarter, and we have, like, less than nothing in common. And he's just going to get bored with me, because pretty much all boys do. And if everybody knows we're dating, then everyone will know when he breaks up with me, which he will. So I'm gonna know you're scared. Yeah, of you. Kiss all these other guys, but you won't kiss me. Acknowledge me now or lose me forever. Look, you're dating her. Why are you doing this? So I like you this much. And if you don't feel the same way about me, then someone's gonna have to give me a hand down because it's really high up here and I could fall and that would be embarrassing. More embarrassing. Presbyterian what? Just different. My dad's really protective of me. Well, look, I'm sorry if your dad doesn't think I'm good enough for you. Okay? Really, I am. And if that's the way he feels, that sucks. But you know what? It really doesn't matter. I don't really have to be his type because the only thing that matters is me and you. Right? I just want you to tell me that you're not going to let what your dad fix and break us up. He's my dad. So what? I don't, Summer, I don't care about your dad, okay? I care about you a lot. And if that's not good enough for you, obviously that's not good enough for you, so I'm going to get pissed. I'm kind of in love with my girlfriend. Here. Thanks, Colin. Hmm? Hmm? Colin! Summer? I can't believe your boat's name is Summer. What a coincidence. My name's Summer. Boat's name is Summer. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. Yeah, but that's not the same thing. You don't get it. Before he got here, I was the biggest loser. This place was hell for me, okay? The boat was named after you. Sorry, Colin. You know, maybe I'll write you a letter and you can read it over and over, trying to figure out what the hell I was thinking last summer. Just Ask. wait a second. Look, First, just... I am done waiting for you, Colin. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go meet my boyfriend. Oh, 
No. Because Summer Roberts. Cohen, do not. I love you. What? Cohen! Ow! What the hell do you think you're doing? This isn't a game, Cohen. You could have gotten hurt. Good thing I didn't. What do you want from me, Cohen? I just want you. No, you don't. You had me. You had me at Chrismica in a freaking Wonder Woman costume, and you chose Anna. You had me three months ago, and you left. I don't want to make that up to you. It has nothing to do with me. It is about you, and it is always about you. What you need and what you want, you know? It seems that you only want me when you can't have me. You like the chase, and that's all. So you know what? You can have it. I'm going home. Sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, God. Oh. Come on, just wait a second. I believed you! How you were changing, that you just wanted to be friends. I do! That's... I, Maybe I just, I can't be just friends with you. Well then, I guess maybe this is it for us. Cohen? Summer? Come on. Hey. I have a date. Wow, hey, hope you and Captain Oates have fun. <laughs> she likes with a girl. <laughs> Don't even think about it. I get it. You guys are just one of those couples. Even when you're not being a couple, you'll always be a couple. Now that's what I'm talking about. If the Ironist and Little Miss Vixen could put their differences aside for just one issue and stop their bickering and stop their banter, and even though the readers might find it adorable, I really feel like they would realize how much more evil that they could vanquish together. Mulry. Well, good. Before you get on that plane, I need you to give me one last shot, okay? You had your shot. Remember when we were dating and you sailed away? Yeah, that's what I want to talk to you about. No, you have no right to do this to me. Not now, okay? I'm hanging up. Okay, then just tell me this. I mean, when you're with him, is it... Is it like what we had? You know, I can't remember that far back. And clearly, Cohen, what we had, it wasn't as awesome as what you had with Ryan. Otherwise, you wouldn't have left. So you know what? Now I'm leaving you. Summer, will you please? Cohen! Summer? Oh my... What are you doing here? What do you think, And you, with all your little flaws and your little quirks, somehow you keep drawing me back in. Summer, please. Come on, just shut up, because even when you're not lying, you're lying. This is for you. I keep the rest in a vase at my house, and every morning I take one out and I bring it to school, just hoping that I run into you so I can apologize. Actually, kind of sweet. Do you know what I could use? A timeout. Oh.
I really thought things were going to be different this time. But you haven't changed at all. You found new and even more public ways of disappointing me. Zach and I kissed. What? Yeah. We were having dinner, and you came on TV in that stupid... Okay, you know what? Fine. That's okay. You've, you know, you've seen me, and you kissed. Just a quick cousin leave. What else happened? Nothing much. So what does this mean? I don't know. It shouldn't be this hard. Cohen, what are you doing? Please, Summer, I need to talk to you, okay? Can't you see I'm working? Listen, I'm sorry about what happened in Miami, okay? I just, I promise you it'll never happen again. Okay, that you'll never go on TV and eat whipped cream off a naked girl again? That's reassuring. Okay. Summer, I'm an ass. Okay, I know that, and I know I don't deserve another shot. But I love you. And I think you love me too. Please. But she's the queen. And I love her. So I guess that that makes me king. No, I'm just a guy standing next to you. You're the queen. All right? I'm the jester, perhaps, if that works. So let me ask you this, Your Highness. What can I do to make it up? Well, you, uh, well <laughs> you can start by dancing with me. Okay, look, I love Selma. I always have. Now, while you and I may share an appreciation for ultra-violent Asian cinema, there's no way. What's going on? You're such a jerk. Summer, wait. Uh-huh. And yet you still felt the need to lie about her being in your room? Because I knew how you react. Not that it's your fault. I'm saying it's my fault. It's definitely my fault. You know what is my fault? What? That. Ow! I was at the lock in and I saw how awful her mother is. So you know what? I was nice to her. Okay. So that's the problem. You were too nice. Well, she's just not used to it. I think she's overreacting a little bit. These are our college lists. Do you see a difference? Yeah, the font looks like you want the uh, Times New Roman. The schools, doofus. None of them are the same. None of them are even in the same time zone. Okay, so, you know, you want West Coast, I want East Coast. It's not a hip hop war. We are gonna be separated by like a zillion billion miles. I was up all last night thinking about that. You were? You haven't even given this a second thought, have you? Uh, Summer, wait a no, second. Too late, come on. Isn't that the truth, Taylor? What if he goes to college and meets a bunch of really smart and interesting girls and realizes that that's who he's supposed to be with? And that uh, you're just his high school girlfriend. Cute, you're fun to be with, but um, doesn't want his kids to have your DNA. Yeah. Maybe we should just end it, you know? Summer, you'll be nice to him, okay? How does this go? Okay, it's not that cold, but... Well, I want to see what we are going to look like next year. What are you talking about? Coming with you. Providence College. It's only 20 minutes from Brown. Are you serious? Yeah. I want to give us a shot. You know, I can't do that from across the country. I don't believe this. What made you change your mind? Taylor? She made me see that at Brown you're gonna be surrounded by like really smart people. It's gonna make you feel really stupid. So you need someone around to make you feel smart. Well, I mean, you want me to come with me, right? Do I want you to come with me, Summer? You're my little snow angel. <laughs> Whoever gets in, I still love you. And I still love you. Cohen, I think that I've owed you this dance for like five years. Want to see my war face? Uh, that's Grr. not necessary. Pressure. But if you mess it up, our future together is ruined. You know, I was actually just curious. Did you mention how it went with Seth? 
Seth Cohen? Yeah, you know, gangly, mop head, barely has an ass. Right. Um, unfortunately, Seth missed his interview. What? He was a no-show. He was just in here explaining the situation, something about a tractor trailer accident. Oh my god, that little bitch. All right, so. <gasps> what the hell? You lied about your college interview and I don't like fire. I can explain. Explain what? That you're pathological? That you invent stories about college interviews that never even happened? You make it sound so bad. If we go to college together, everybody's gonna love you, and I'm gonna be your nerdy boyfriend. You. I found something in your drawer. You're not mad? Oh, no. I'm mad. I'm livid. Not about the pot, because, I mean, whatever, it's pot, right? And a cocktail napkin? It's confession. Read it. To whom it may concern. My name is Seth Cohen, and I have a problem with flying. This is lying, man. Pen shook. I have lied about many things over the years. The most recent and troubling lies include, but are not limited to the following. And there's a complete list on the back of the napkin. All my sins, very detailed. Oh, and I know all of this. I know, but if I ever screw up again, I'll give that to my parents. Hmm. That's pretty smart. You may have just rocked my world. Okay. We're going to start off with touching. I want you to place your hands anywhere on each other's bodies, excluding breasts and genitals. I have to go. Cohen, put your hands on me now. Come on, it'll be fun. Good. Summer. Good. Okay, now I want you to concentrate on your eye contact. Get lost in each other's gaze. Mm, get lost. Get lost. As you gaze into each other's eyes, do you feel stirrings deep in your loins? Yeah, I don't really feel anything. Yeah, I got nothing. Not even the faintest spark. A tiny flicker. Yeah, like I'd go if you didn't. What? Cohen, duh. I applied to Brown so that we could be together. I'm not going without you. Summer. Brown's one of the top universities in the world. People dream about going there. No. You dream about going there. I dream about being with the one I love. Oh my god. Oh my god. Back your muffler. Throwing a brown. Oh! Yeah. oh. Ah. Not if you're with the one you think you should be with. You could forever be with. You know, who really knows I'm an AD? I do. Don't. Summer, it's not. No, you know what? I have to go. If we're gonna go to college together next year, you can't keep freaking out on me all the time. Yeah, Summer, that's just it. I'm not sure that I want to go to Brown next year. What? I've just been thinking a lot about it, and I'm not i am not exactly sure that Brown is the right choice for me. For you, I still, I think it's great. We applied to Brown so that we could be together. Yeah, I know. I guess, I guess I changed my mind. So what, we just suddenly apply somewhere else? No, I think you should still go to Brown. You should. I'll just go somewhere else. Do you really mean this? I'm sorry, I think it's for the best. Okay. Well, I guess um, if this is how you feel, fine. We're over.
The breakup is off. That's right, I broke up with you, and technically it's in my power to technically unbreak us up. You can do that? Technically, I just did. So unless you can explain to my satisfaction what your deal is and why you suddenly don't want to be together next year, we're back on. Yeah, technically, officially, completely. Okay. Since you unbroke up with me, sort of put the ball back in my court, and now I break up with you, which means only I have the power to unbreak us up. Breaking up with me? Yes. Sorry, I really am, but I feel it's for the best. What? I, I only unbroke up with you so that I could find out why you were breaking up with me in the first place. I guess now you'll never know. Yeah. Not ten bucks. What are you doing? I know you're afraid, Alan. Yeah, that you're gonna fall to something like that. Your breakup is missing a key ingredient. The only ingredient, really. Which is? You don't love me anymore. Summer. I love you this much, and I want to be with you now and next year and whatever comes after that. So I'm asking, in the presence of this coffee cart and the sacred moment that it represents, if you can honestly tell me that you don't love me anymore. Summer. Just say it. Cohen, if you don't love me, I promise I will go to Brown by myself and I will be cold and miserable and alone. I will never bother you again. I don't love you anymore. Get away from me, okay? Get out of here, Cohen! So you are going to Brown, you just didn't want to come with me. How'd it go? Anna, somewhere. You're probably really confused right about now. No, not at all. All of this, everything you've done up until now finally makes sense. It's because of a girl, her name's Summer Roberts, and she's going here. And if I don't get in, I'm going to lose her, and the rest of my life is going to be ruined. So this is about a girl? Yes. It's about the girl. I promised him that if I won, that I would give him a big, fat kiss. <laughs> Truth is, I actually didn't get into Brown. What? Well, too fast. I knew you weren't gonna go if I didn't go, and I didn't want you to do that. I didn't want you to miss the opportunity, so I broke up with you. That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Yeah, well, then I realized I couldn't be without you, so I flew there to try to talk my way in. Okay, now well, that is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Well, it's very romantic. Did it work? No, I didn't. But Anna got me an interview at RISD, and they read my comic book. They really liked it, so... So that's why you were hogging her at the airport? Oh, my God. Listen, no, I promise I never lie again when I give you that letter. Oh, my God, the letter. What? Cohen, I have a confession. <laughs> wow. Wow, that's impressive. <sighs> I love you. I love you too. You know, we'll make it work. Well, yeah, of course. <laughs> Dear Mr. Cohen, while your application arrived too late for our fall semester, we are happy to announce that your application has been approved. We got in! Yeah. Let's start in January. <laughs> Let me just say again how sorry I am for messing up the college thing. Lying to you and hurting you. And hey, you. look, it's okay, because everything happened the way it was supposed to. Well, then I did it on purpose. Seth, I still love you. 
I really, really still love you. I just can't. Glad you're home. Me too. Friend's gonna be here any second. Shut up, Colin. Hey, you just punched me. My baby's back. I don't hear from me for a while. It's not because I don't love you. It's because I do. Seth, you still love me, right? Of course I do. What's going on? I think you might be pregnant. I'm remembering something I wanted to ask you for back in the car when I found out the test was Taylor's. What? Paul. Up top. You asking me for a high five? Can you imagine if it was your test we're looking for? Now, I know it seems a little bit selfish, but I think we're entitled to celebrate, so come on. Up top, hit it. Scared as you are, I'm sure Summer's ten times more scared. Translation, I need to be there for her. Exactly. And you can start by telling her how you feel. What well, kind of depends on what's in this purse? Does it? Is he gonna change whether or not you want to be with her? No, of course not. Can you imagine ever not wanting to be with her? No. That's your answer. When I found out it was your pregnancy test, I totally freaked out. And I thought this would change everything. But then Ryan asked me if I could imagine a time when I'd ever not want to be with you. And I realized that the answer is no. I'm totally pregnant. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? <sighs> is that gonna like squirt invisible ink or something? No, but it will make you engaged. What? Are you insane? Possibly, but I'm certain of this. No, Cohen, we can't. Sure we can. We're both adults. We don't share DNA. But... You just have to want to. I do. Don't you think we should look at the test first? Have you wondered for the rest of your life if I propose to you because you're pregnant? I'm doing this because I love you and I want to spend the rest of my life with you. You know, once you do this, you can't take it back. I know. Summer Roberts, will you marry me? Not pregnant. Not pregnant is inappropriate to celebrate. No, please, please. Uh. Yeah. So just so you know, Seth doesn't want to get married. Well, it's not like Summer wants to be a desperate housewife. Right. Yeah. It's gonna be easy then. All it'll take is one of them to say they think they should wait a while, and the other will happily agree, and that'll be that. Yeah. Except that it is Seth and Summer. Right. I can't do this. You can't? No, I can't. Because, you know, as much as I love you, yeah? it just doesn't feel right getting married. You know, without asking your father for your hand. You want to ask um, my dad's permission to, to marry me? I do. Yes, I do. So there's one thing that is undeniable is that I appreciate your daughter. As you made very clear yesterday when you called her kind of cool and easy on the eyes. You gotta do better than that. Well, she's hilarious, for one. My favorite thing in the world is to make her laugh because she has a crazy honk of a laugh at the Nelson from The Simpsons. She does have a contagious laugh. You know, it stopped me before I say that she makes me a better man, but she makes me more of a man or certainly less of a boy. I love every minute I spend with your daughter, sir. I really do. So this wasn't some goof. You really want to spend the rest of your life with her? I do. Seriously. I went up there knowing your dad would say no and that I could get out of this. 
but I realized I don't want out. I want in with you forever, you know? So I think we should stay engaged. You know, it doesn't have to be today, but someday. Wow. Seth, I realized something too while you were gone. The point is, I don't think that you can be with someone until you can be with yourself. I think it's something that I need to figure out. Oh, that sounds like a... I guess it's a no. I'm sorry. I still really love you. I hope we get married someday. I'm just not ready now. Hey. Forget the whole thing ever happened. I know I have. I don't want to forget about it. What you did was amazing. It was so sweet. The words you said and how sincere you were when you said them. Uh. Wait. This is important. I see the great love of your life. Me too. <sighs> the name's coming to me. I, I see it. Let me give you a little help. Seth. No. Seth. No. It's George. George? There's a lot of heat surrounding this name. You're leaving me for a guy named George? No, she certainly is. Your destiny is with this George. This, my friend, marks the first moment that I fell in love with Summer Roberts. It was the spring. 1998. This is a long flashback because my break's almost done. Bear with me. We're going to start today with more readings of your original poems. Who are we up to? Summer Robert. Summer? I wish I was a mermaid and was friends with all the fish. A shiny tail and seashells. That would be my wish. That is what I knew. Summer Roberts was the one. Which of whether you and I are destined to be together than her, and I bought proof. Happy early Valentine's Day, Summer. Mermaid poem. That's how I knew, even in fifth grade, that you were the one. It's pretty awesome, huh? Oh my god. I know. I didn't write this. What? Remember that day. I'm not the girl that you thought I was. You're not. You, Summer, are better. So back then you were just this fantasy. You were this little girl who, when I would see, you would either ignore me or make an obscene gesture and keep on walking. Yeah, I kind of remember that, sorry. But now look at you. You fight for sea otters. You befriend you Taylor Townsend. You're an incredible mom. You're that funny. Yes, I have changed. You've evolved. And over the last 950 days we've been dating, yes, I've counted, and yes, I counted the Zack era, because really, who are we kidding? I want you to grow into this incredible woman. And that is who I love. Thanks, Mom. What's wrong? I love George. I'll kill him. This guy came by from George to recruit me. He heard about my work with the Sea Otters and invited me to travel across the country and talk to college kids about voting next November. But what about Brown? I'd have to defer a year. Live on a bus. Sounds like a great gig. I don't know that we could see each other. I do believe that you are my destiny. I do, Seth. I just don't know that you're my only destiny. Summer. But what about us? This is for us, okay? It's for both of us. Some of these George guys, it looks so idealistic. 
I got nothing to worry about. Just remember, this isn't goodbye. You're my destiny, Cullen. I've saved the world, Summer Roberts. After the New Hampshire primary. Just go.